Hi, I'm Nagy Dancer, and this video I'm gonna show you how you can join a host or a server. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video what we have done. We can host the game, so for testing, whenever you click on this host, it will create another host. And this index is the number of our hosts. This is numbers, uh, host number zero, this is host number one. And each in each one of them is just a one player, okay? So let's just again click on host and it will create another host. And if you go to the join, in here it show the hosts and the player that is on them. So now what I'm gonna show you is whenever they click on one of these hosts, they can join in and they can play together, okay? But like all of my videos, I will do it step by step. So it won't be in just one video to explain all of this because it get, it will get complicated. So first step is that to join the server. Next step is to get the players, okay? And a step after that, that is much important one is that how you can use all of this system to make your game as a multiplayer game. So I will use my platformer game for a example and I will show you how you can use this system for your platformer game. But you can do it for whatever game you have, no matter it is time based or real time. And now let's just clear this in here, clear. And let's just go to our game maker. And in here, what I'm gonna do, if you remember, we populate our join lobby with this OBG hosts button, okay? And in there, what we have done, we set the local host number and local number of player, okay? And we show it in this draw in here. We show it in here, okay? That's all we have done. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how you can join a server. So first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to create, okay? And create two variables. If you follow my videos of this uh, playlist of multiplayer game, you know that by now how we can check to see if our data is going through our server or not. So always we create two variables. One of them is for should we try to join? And one of them is did we join? Okay, like all of those buttons. The first variable that I wanna create is should I try to join? Equal to false for now, okay? And the next one, did we join equal to false? You can see that all the variables are self-explanatory. Always do this because I don't wanna have a lot of comments. Of course we should have comments in our codes, but if you can, write a better name for your variable just do that okay so we have these two variables i want to add an most event of left pressed okay and in here i want to change the should i try to i try to join to true okay so know that we make this true let's just add a step event and in here we say if should i i try to join if this is true try to join right and one thing we should check for this did we joined as well okay so if is if should i try to join is true and did we join was false send data until we join the server okay and try it two seconds in between right so everything is okay no we should send our data so first thing first i'm gonna make this should i try to join to false it won't send the data until we make this should i try to join to the true right so no i want to set an alarm so i say alarm zero is equal for example two second to multiply by room and speed and it's like saying two second okay now let's just add alarm zero in here and change should i try to join to true okay so after two seconds it again it tried to send that data and now everything is okay and now we can send data okay um i have one question in the the last video that you asked me why you should create this date ds map always in a step why shouldn't we create it on create okay because um what i see in game maker uh, when your project get, get bigger and bigger and you always use a name like data it's it's like a bug in game maker when you create it on this create and you want to create it in a lot of spaces right and you want to add something to this ds map and it will erase another object ds map and i don't know why it's happening but i found that problem and in my case it's better to create your ds map every time and in your function delete that okay and after we have we have our map we can send it the ip is this the port is this, the size 100 is more than enough, the map is data, and the type, okay? So let's just go to our OVJ global to see if we have the type or not. We have join host, so that is the one that we should use, okay? So I say msg type dot 
join host okay and with this we will send a join host request to our server everything is okay and now we should add some value to this ds map first thing that i'm going to add to this map is let me say ds map add data the first thing that i'm gonna send is host number okay the host number that we want to join okay so we should send that and where did we save it if you go to the create you remember we save the host number in local host number when we when we create these buttons in last video uh, we did create all the instance for all the hosts with these buttons okay and we set the local host number and the number of the player okay it, it shouldn't be empty string it could be no one or whatever it could it could be anything okay i accidentally put empty string in there but it could be anything because we instant we create an instance of this up with this button with the data that is coming on that get host request right so we have the local host number so let's just put it in here local host number okay so this is the first thing that we should add to our data but we need to add something else that is map data the thing that we want to add is the player number so when we want to join a host the host the server should tell us what is our player number what is our player id okay so it should tell us so i'm gonna call this player number okay so this is player number and at default it is no one it's like saying minus four okay so we send this local host number. We tell the server that we want to join this this host number. And please give us our player number or our player ID. And it will give us, and I will show you how you can add player to an to our host and give back the ID, okay, or the number. Oh, I forgot to add to the left breast. I use right breast in here, and this is my bad. Let's just cut this and add it to the left breast, okay? Most left breast. And put it in here. I want to delete this right breast. Sorry for that. And now let's just run again right now there is three hosts in here and let's just let's just go to join lobby and in here click on host zero and you can see it sent the player number that right now it's no one and it sent it um, every two seconds okay the host number we want to join host number zero and the type is one that is join host so let's just close this and again run it to for example test host number two to see if the request is going through or not okay so in here let's just go to our server and in here if you want to join the host number two that is that has one player in it click on it and you can see the player number again is no one like minus four is no one and host number is two so all the data is going through correctly so we should create our state in a state machine of this server right I don't want my videos to get too long because what I'm go going to show you in here right now for joining a host, it's using two, um, two dimensional array and some objects. So it will be a little bit complicated and I want to explain it in a separate video. I don't want it, my video to get too long. It should be less than 10 minutes. Sorry about that, that I should uh, stop right now. It's my honor to have you at this channel and have you at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.